This is the Big Dog Post Game Show at Rainy Maryland Stadium. The Terps are awful today. They lose 54 to 7 to Nebraska. I'm Wayne Viner, Jack Rothenberg, Mason Viner, who might be ready for one of his famous Mason A rants. And just off camera is Cordell Woodland. Uh, guys, what'd you see? What, what were they saying in the press box? It was a very ineffective offense. For the majority of the game, they only had, I think, six or seven first downs. The quarterbacks couldn't do anything. They couldn't get the ball moving down the field. The only quarterback that maybe did something was Lance Dijon, but that was mostly on the ground until he got hurt. Mason, defense wasn't much better. Maryland gives up 530-something yards. Yeah. Um, I think from it, Every standpoint, Locks likes to talk about things and phrases, so, or phases, so I will. Every phase of this game failed. Special teams, um, if you remember last year, Maryland played Rutgers here. They kicked the ball off and did the exact same thing that Nebraska did to Maryland. They kicked it into the open space. As soon as the ball hits the ground, it's free for any team to get, grab it. So that was the biggest joke play of last year, and it just happened to Maryland. Well, so Look, it happened against Ohio State. Ohio State actually kicked the ball to one of their gunners, and the gunner caught it instead of Maryland. It, it's just bad. We can list the ways that it's bad, but if for anybody who saw the game, first of all, it's not really up to us to say, but thank you to any Maryland fan that stayed here. There were still, as usual, 10,000 visiting fans across the way having a great time. Uh, Nebraska travels well, but I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. And I'm supposed to be the calm guy. I've had it with us. You can't keep coming out and losing by 50. You just can't do it and have anybody respect the program, respect the team, respect the idea. I don't want to hear that I'm winning off the field. I'm here, I'm cold, I'm wet, and we lost again. And it wasn't by a little bit. It was by a lot of bit. Yeah, and it was to a 4-1 team. But that's just my but opinion. That, yeah, that's pretty much it, and I think that you're, you're trying to support something. You're trying to move something forward. You're trying to get recruits. You're trying to, uh, I guess at this point, you took something that was and you took something that, that was, that was a 5-1 year. team last year that regardless of if they, they didn't score in four games last year or didn't score a touchdown four games last year, they did they did good things, and, and this, this, this did not do good things. You know things. what? We're going to let Marcus Berry talk to the recruits. We're going to be back here at Wet Maryland Stadium in a few minutes. You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show. The Jackers Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. It's still raining here in College Park. Band is picked up behind us. We have a bunch of recruits off to our left. Jumping in is Cordell Woodland of 1300 CBS Sports Radio fame and a frequent uh, part of the post-game show. And just like Maryland, this is the, what I call the dollar crew. You throw in a dollar, you get four quarters back. <laughs> Maryland used all four quarterbacks today. You mentioned Lance, who dislocated his left shoulder and fumbled. And I think that actually was the low light because that's what I came to see. Cordell, what did you see from the breast box? Not a lot of good. Uh, you stated the four quarterbacks that got in today, and even with four quarterbacks, Maryland still didn't even touch 60 yards of total passing today. Uh, they were just completely bad on, on the offensive side of the ball alone, just starting there. Javon Leak, who's usually one of the bright spots of the team, three lost fumbles today. Uh, the defense, again, giving up over 500 yards of total offense. Even when uh, the, McCa the McCa McCaffrey brother came in at quarterback, they still couldn't stop anybody, and you knew what he was going to do. So it was, just, it was just a total bad effort today by Maryland, and I want to emphasize the word effort because I saw none out there on the field. None, and, and Wayne and I can really speak to this. 
we've been coming to these games, you a lot longer than myself, yeah. but this is flat out pathetic. There, there's no other word for it. Everyone loves to say how bad this was with Randy Etzel. This is worse. This is a four-win team. That we played today. That has lost four games in a row. That is completely questioning whether they hired the right coach, whether they had the right system working. Just the same. They're, they, are one, they were one game better than us coming in and were questioning themselves almost more than Maryland was with Loxley going into this game. And they beat us 54-7. to seven. That's just, it's it's wrong. I, it's just, they talk about Maryland pride, they talk about turf toughness, wh whatever the hell their phrase is for the week. They have none of it. it it's all just words at this point. And I, you're right, small victories mean nothing because when you're losing games 54 to 7, 52 to 10, and 73 to 14, what, what somebody please tell me what small, this is not an Ivy League school. It, please tell me what, what small victory you can possibly have when you're losing by that much. I, you know, I wish I could. Uh, from being here since 1984, missing about five games at this stadium since 1984, this was as bad as it gets because the other team, th this was a game we were saying we could win. And, uh, and that, that, that just described that, the game. That, that, <laughs> right there. That, that, right exactly. there. Thank you, 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 you coaching staff exactly. and support people. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to stand here for 10 minutes and ridicule my school and my team, so I won't do that. So I'll go for, and we're going to keep this clean, go for parting words. Uh, Jack? Uh, yeah, for, ne for next week against Michigan State, I think the main focus needs to be on offense. The ineffectiveness, I'm curious to see who the starter is going to be for next week. It could be Piggy or Josh Jackson, I'm not really sure, but it really starts with the offensive side of the ball. Uh, I definitely agree. If, if you're Maryland, at some, you just want to see something. You have to see Maryland sustain a drive at some point early in the game. You can't keep living off the big play because the reality is the big plays aren't coming. So you have to learn how to sustain drives, pick up first downs, possess the ball, and for the love of God, defense, stop somebody. Uh, next week you're playing against a team that I believe only beat Rutgers by 27 today. Yeah. My goal for next week, and this is kind of going off what Cordell said earlier, show me somebody, I don't really care who it is, I don't even care oh, if they're wait, not on the Brooks. numerical roster. Brooks was playing as hard yeah. as Tom he could. Brooks plays One every guy. week. I, he I plays don't, every week. I'll give I him don't really care who it is. I don't care if they're not on the roster right now, if they're just walk-ons. I would put out whoever shows me the most effort in practice plays. Throw right. away all the tape, nothing. You're going to say, based on this week, whoever shows me the most effort, I don't care what your expectation was coming into this or whatever it was, Put the guys out there that you know are going to give, I, at this point, even 50% because we're seeing less than that from the guys that are on the field. Right. So, as usual, best thing about today's game is it's basketball season. It's basketball season. And that, that's going to do it. We're going to head inside and uh, dry off. Uh, thanks, guys, without hats. You really, really you, good effort today. Uh, this has been the Big Dog Post Game Show, Maryland Falls. I'm not going to tell you the score. Uh, we will see you on the radio on Wednesday when it's a young Terps takeover. It's going to be Jordan, Mason, Cordell. Uh, I'll just pop in to make sure nobody sets anything on fire. You could listen to that on 1300 CBS Sports Radio at 5 p.m. in Baltimore. And of course, we'll have it up on uh, replay on Terp Talk. Good evening from College Park. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast.